Hey everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresheries from Miniard. Here we have 135 scale figure in set and this time we get US soldiers in cafe so it might be an interesting diorama project or maybe you will just assemble these three figurines together and that will be enough for uh, something interesting, something unusual because as you can see two soldiers in a civil setting. I would say this is not something we often see on the model exhibition that's why I decided to check it closer in today's video because here we have a commercial sample and this is a uh, kit number 35406 so you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review this is the final shape of this model and here box size is typical for mini art here you can see comparison with my hand we also have quite nice box art i would say it's simple but yet gives you an idea of what to expect also on the side here we have some safety, uh, safety information i think on the opposite side yeah here we have some ads for other sets we reviewed them as well so you can find it easily on our youtube channel and on the rear side you can see assembly manual which is combined together with the marking guide so if we start from the top here you can see that we have the furniture assembly then we continue with the figurines and also marking guide is included here then we have the covers chart as you can see we have it in uh, several manufacturer designations so it's really a handy feature because we do not use all the paints from the same manufacturer at least I don't so that's why it's always handy to have some conversion table to find out which uh, exactly paint you need from this or that brand so this is a side opening box and here is what we have inside so as you can see everything is packed or sealed into one plastic bag and now i just need to open it and we will check it closer together but because i don't have a knife with me i will have to tear it and we will start with the gray plastic so here we have a sprue FA. This one is dedicated to chairs and table. As you remember from the box art, we have several chairs, we have one table. And all of this stuff will have to be assembled out of several parts. And maybe it's a wise idea to copy some weathering on them, because obviously tables will not stay as a out of the box new. So maybe there will be some scratches, maybe wood will be looking slightly different weathered. So really good opportunity to play with some techniques. And as you can see, the size is not that huge. So do not underestimate it. It's still 135 scale kit and that's why it will require some certain skills. Next we continue with the sprue F. Here we have various equipment for soldiers. Again it's in 135 scale but it's cool to see that the rifles are molded as a single piece parts. So you just maybe you can even paint them on the sprue and then just separate them off the frame. But it's up to you, it's your approach to working with such items. Still cool to get them in the standard package. Next, we proceed with the first figurine, it's a sprue B, and here I think if you are familiar with the 135 scale figurines, you won't find something unusual, as you can see we have one piece torso, separate legs, separate hands, and also a head here, and even water can is here, I don't know why it is there, maybe it's just something special for this particular figurine. So if I flip over this sprue here, you can check everything from the opposite side. We have really nice sculpting, no guiding elements whatsoever, no alternative poses as you can guess. So it's just a sitting position, sitting on the chair which is supplied here in the kit. Next, we continue with another soldier. So pretty much the same design and as you can see uh, this time we do not get the water can we actually get this hat which should be placed on the head which is molded without hat. And again no guiding elements whatsoever but really nice sculpting quality so if you're uh, if you make sure to clean up a bit of the flesh around the parts you will be good to go and as you can see it looks fine out of the box in my opinion. And last but not the least grey plastic sprue is the waiter. So here in this release we get him with the plate as you can see. And we have slightly different design because it has also apron here and also some sleeves on the hands. But I think all of this can be actually beneficial for the overall 
appearance of your build so just make sure to spend some time uh, let's say researching the topic in order to understand how to paint all of this stuff and next i will open the small plastic bag we have here clear spruce and one of them is actually covered sprue which is even more interesting because we are used to see the clear plastic and actually that's something what i was pricing in the previous cafe releases because now uh, the clear plastic is easier to handle it lets you to define which uh, glass cover you would like to see so here for example we see the you know, bottles and glasses i guess these are liquor glasses and still they look quite fine in my opinion but next we continue with the uh, covered clear plastic sprue so here i guess we get the wine and beer bottles and we have wine depicted on the box art so as long as you make sure to paint the wine inside the bottle you should be fine and again molding quality overall looks fine obviously you will not use all of the bottles in your build unless you have some certain ideas for your project and it means that all of this stuff might be handy for some future builds as well so this kit should be already available you can get it in Modelimax for example I will be happy to hear your opinion about this release do not forget that you can write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye